this, there's a hippopotamus. I wonder if it was the frisky one and the crocodile. And you can see there is a, a quite a, a sort of a, oh no, a, a ceasefire of, of, of battles. And if the crocs don't really bother the hippos, the hippos don't really bother the crocs unless they get too close to the young. And they do, after all, share that ecosystem. One of the funniest things you can see is when a hippo accidentally stands on a croc in dirty water. The absolute pandemonium that happens is quite impressive. Just this big flurry of splashes. Now, of course, the, the river is very, very dry this year. So they're going to have to be a little bit more tolerant of each other. Now, you probably find that tolerance here is much higher than in a place oh, like the Chobe River or the Zambezi River, purely because of the migration. And these crocodiles are only feeding once or twice a year. And uh, that means they don't really put pressure on a lot of the other animals during the rest of the year, and specifically on the hippos, where I've seen crocodiles actively hunt baby hippos in Botswana before. You find that there's no need for that. Oh, there's some, some pyramid ducks, as a friend of mine used to call them when she was very small. Uh, Egyptian geese, of course. They're not actually geese at all. They are ducks. Um, they are a type of shield duck. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, we're going to leave the hippo to wander along, and uh, we're going to go back to Jamie, who's got some very important marbles. I think she's lost hers to show you.